Holy crap. Well, it's that type time of year again where we're about to head into a next another year. Yep, a whole other year has really been passing by. And what do I think about that 2023? Was it a good year? Was it a bad year? Was it a meh year? I think the third choice because the the 2023 was interesting. Um I mean we we did get some like covid cases here and there. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't really severe now. It's not really severe now. I think it's been that, that been that way since like 2022. Just like a little bit. Um, loads of things really happened in the media. Uh, for one, a lot of things like the Amazing Digital Circus came around this year. Um, a lot of things that also came around this year. Chuck E. Cheese, um... I mean, Chuck E. Cheese, man. Uh, a lot of things, though. We we have lost some stages, um, including the um, West Malibor, Florida location with their Galaxy stage. And if you don't know um, what that stage is, it was a stage that was added um, at the West, the Mel Bal the West Malibor, Florida location, if I pronounce that right, because I don't have a script with me, um, and basically, it was a stage model, uh, with a 16 movement Chuck E. Cheese animatronic bot, and, you know, it had, like, a galaxy type, you know, you know, as the backdrop, uh, we lost that this year, um, which is very sad, um, and, you know, honestly, it is pretty sad because it was the only one as well. And I'm, I haven't been there. I have not gone there before. Um, I wish I would have saw it, man. I wish, man, if I was, you know, traveling. But unfortunately, it's like way too far for us, sadly. Um, and, um, uh, if you, sorry for the, um, like, sorry for the, a little bit of the noise, um, there are people outside who are setting up fireworks because it's New Year. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them because of my voice, but yeah, it's so you can sort of bit hear you know them yelling, but I don't think you can. Um, anyways, another thing that Chuck E. Cheese did uh, was very surprising this year. Uh, Northridge, California, kept their freaking animatronic stage. And you know why, wasn't it? That's because that they actually, you know, um, a lot of people spoke up publicly to keep the animatronic stage because it was very unique to some locals. And, you know, I thought, well, they thought, well, why don't we just keep that stage? Like, they got jealous and they kept the stage there. And, you know, it was mixed. Um, it was very surprising. They had a whole grand opening party. Uh, they, we got, you know, they got, like, pins, it got, like, of course, you know, yeah, like, a, I think, like, a, like, a card, I think, like, some sort of poster of, like, the whole band, you know, coming back and stuff, and stuff like that, you know, that's, that's cool, I guess. Um, another thing that they did is that they are building a water park, um, called Splash Zone, uh, Chuck E. Cheese Splash Zone, I meant, uh. It's going to be at some sort of hotel in California, I know what. Um, yeah, a lot of things during that period. Um, it's interesting, I guess. Pretty interesting, you know, in, in all the round. Uh, what is Nickelodeon up to? Nothing much. Uh, of course, we got, like, the tiny, I think the tiny chef show on Nick Jr., uh, which came around this year, and uh, a few other things that I don't think I want to mention. There's, like, a lot that came in that, you know, year. Um, oh, boy. Uh, the Really Haunted Loud House. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm, I'm not really... I should tell you this, guys, but I'm not a fan of the Loud House anymore. Uh, I'm sorry. I mean, I still care about the show... 
It's just... I just don't feel like it anymore. Uh, so, just to FYI, I don't know if I'm going to make a lot of Loud House videos, which is going to get controversial. Um, but I think I'm permanently going to be phased out, you know, with the Loud House and wanting to move on my life and stuff like that. I'm sorry if I have to announce that, but I do. For some of you people who are fans of the Loud House on here, please don't, please don't, like, please, like, like, still be a subscriber for me because, um... We got, like, other content as well that you guys can enjoy as well. You know, it's not like it's just going to be fully Loud House. Am I right? And, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, anyways, um, what else came around this time period? Oh, um, a lot of things I really don't want to mention, uh, because there were so much things that happened, uh, in terms of things uh, that I really don't want to really say too much in this video because I don't want to make this like hour long uh, to really speak all that. <laughs> so now let's get to our next uh, topic here, which is brand new videos. What am I planning for new videos that will be maybe possibly releasing? Now, like I said before last time, don't get your high expectations way too high. These plants may, you know, not be planning for 2024. Um, they're just like speculations and stuff like that. Of, you know, or things they can possibly do. Uh, and I have a few things. Uh, one of these videos, um, I'm, I, for sure I know what I'm planning for January. Um... I'm planning on making a, um, so before, um, I was planning on making like an, um, you remember the video I was teasing you all about the bizarre rabbit hole of animatronic lost media? Well, I am thinking about pushing that back to January because I, you know, I wanted to work on a Christmas video, uh, which turns out to be the, um, video that was recently posted in December. Uh, which is the Chuck E. Cheese that almost wasn't, and how it was shelved, and, you know, how it was scrapped. So, that video came out that time period, um, because you guys requested that, um, because, I, you know, I noticed in the, um, community post that, you know, that got a lot, you know, that got a lot from you guys, so, you know, thank you for the, you know, Thank you for the, uh, votes on it. Uh, moving on back here. Um, yeah, so I am planning on releasing the animatronic Lost Media video on January. Then February, and maybe I'm planning on making, um, so you know how on, like, if, you, if you've been with me on Instagram, uh, I did on my stories, I am planning on making... I am planning, I was teasing everybody that I am planning on making, uh, the history video. So, since, like, 2023, I did the history of, like, Stan Rio Pure Land, a.k.a. my favorite video that I've ever made, and I'll tell you that in a minute, um, is I am planning on making, like, the history video of Harmony Land, which is their second theme park in Japan, so, I am making that video, and that's confirmed. I am in planning on making that video. Uh, I'll try and maybe get that video done either February or, you know, around, you know, March. Who knows? No, actually, yeah, around February or March. Uh, and then, um, for March, I don't really have anything for March that I can think of. Uh, that I want to re maybe release. I mean, I do maybe want in the planning on making a history video on Montu, which is a Bush Gardens Tampa roller coaster, uh, which is aka one of my favorite attractions. Uh, one of my favorite attractions at Bush Gardens Tampa, which I am planning on making a video on that. And then, uh, somewhere around April, uh, like I, I think I wanted to make like an Easter one, but 
I feel like maybe an Easter one will... I don't know. I'm not planning on making an Easter one. I was thinking of making the history video of Bunny Town, but... You know, remember that show on Di on Disney G on like Playhouse Disney uh, around that time period in the two thousands? Yeah, that show. Well, I was planning on making like a history video on it, but I don't know. Um, but like on but but basically on um. So basically, on the um video with um yeah I lost track here um. I'll be right back on what I wanted to say here. Alright, so I'm back. Um, primarily, um, I am planning on making a video on... Yeah, I was thinking of making a planning video on Bunny Town, but that never came through. So, I maybe am planning on, you know, making the history video on the ride at SeaWorld Orlando, which was original dark ride... Which is called Empire of the Penguin. Um, so seriously, I am maybe playing, thinking on making, uh, you know, the Antarctica Empire of the Penguin. I'm making a whole history video on that. You know, it's complete history because I don't think a lot of people really told about the history. Well, sort of, um, but not in a full degree. So I am thinking on, on why it, you know, why it failed, well, not, why it, like, it didn't fail, it just was okay. Um, I actually, fun fact, I actually been on this attraction, spoiler alert, um, when I was at SeaWorld in 2013. Uh, so I get to tell you my whole experience on that, um, in that video, so get excited for that. Um, well, actually... I'm not, like, going to tell you guys to get excited for it because we don't know how plants are going to be for this year. Like I mentioned in my last year's video, which, or, like, 2023 video, so, you like, or, like, yeah, basically. Um, I should say, I can't talk here today, <laughs> as you can tell. Uh, so, that's that. I'm planning also on making a brand new theme park series. Uh, I'm trying to think of a name. It's going to be me talking about, like, failed attractions or what went wrong, why it, you know, wasn't grand. Like, I'm going to make... So I was thinking on um, making this new series uh, where I talk about... I don't know the name yet on what I want to call the series, but I am thinking of maybe talking about, like, you know, mostly theme park-like attractions that, you know, that was, you know, had, was, like, bad decisions in theme parks. So I'm making, uh, you know, a, like, maybe, like, I'm making, like, a full, like, um, series on that. I may be making on making that. You know, I think I wanted, like, to make it, you know... I think I actually just found the name here. Um, it would be called... Uh, it would actually be, you know, officially called... Failed Decisions... Um, like, Worst Decisions in Theme Parks. I think that will definitely be the title for my new series. Where we go ahead and talk about... You know, the terrible... Like, mostly the bad, you know, decisions in theme parks. You know, like, with new attractions, like, prices on things, and other things in between. So, I think it'll be a good series. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, and, yeah, um, other things here and there. I'm not gonna, like, say, like, all of it, you know, of all of some of the plants I have. Because there's a lot of ideas. Um... That I want to pitch. I just don't feel like I want to really explain all of it. Because. You know. I wanted to keep you guys a surprise. Um, so that way you can be. You know very excited for some of these. And some of these are actually going to be really good. On videos. As I can tell. So. The next thing we're going to be talking about um, is one of my favorite videos. Now, I did tease that one of my favorite videos from this year 
that I posted was the history of Sanrio Pure Land, which, holy mackerel, it was a huge, like, research. It, I had to look high and low just to try and find videos on Sanrio Pure Land in the olden days, and also getting all the, like, information-wise, you know, out there online uh, for people to see and videos to post. Because I looked very deeper into, on YouTube, like, the deeper I go, I found some, you know, rare things. Um, you know, and, and also trying to find out, you know, I also had to use, like, Google Translate to, like, you know, to translate what it, you know, says. Because some of these videos are, like, has, like, Japanese subtitles in it. Uh, you know, has Japanese words in it, so I basically use, I highly recommend it on YouTubers, you know, if you're, you know, finding some content that's, like, Japan, like, if it has, like, Japanese titles in it, I say, like, use Google Translate, it actually helps you a lot, now, I know it's not a sponsor, but I highly recommend you use it, um, so, if you have, like, on your app, I mean, if you only have it on, like, on your, like, uh, if you have an iPad, I say, you can actually can get it. Um, uh, moving on. Uh, so, another video of mine was the Chuck's on Location Episode 2. Uh, which, of course, was, for this episode, it was, um, the history of Chuck E. Cheese's and Chubb's Pizza Place in Orlando, Florida. Uh, which was a very good documented video. Um, I really have, I really liked how it turned a lot. However, it got copyright because I sort of used just some of parts in the video where I would use the port of mis like I was using the, uh, concept of vacation video, which apparently had used port of mystery, which is a copyrighted song. Uh, and also I kind of used it, the laugh track from Michael Jackson's Thriller. So, in that one part from that one, uh, m you know, meme, you know, the one, uh, thing I did, um, on that YouTube video, and, yeah, those are my favorite videos of 2023, so, yeah, I hope you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys, for the 5,000 subscribers, I can't thank you enough for all for all you guys who have subscribed for me over the years. It really, it really appreciates me, and I'm very happy, you guys, you know, for making this possible for me. I, I, I really mean it a lot, and I, I care about every single person in everything around the world right now because you know I really support people I support every single people around me I love people and I love caring about you guys because you're the ones that make the magic happen for me and you know it's not about the subscribers it's not about you know trying to get to millions of subscribers for you guys. It's you. It's you the viewer. Because that's what matters. People really matters. In a lot of ways. And you know. I, I'm i very happy you guys. For all that you do for me. On this YouTube channel. And how I'm able to try and make people happy. Because I want to make people happy in this world. There, you know, there's, a, you know, including now, especially currently, with a lot of things right now. It's, it definitely needs, it definitely needs to really, you know, it has to be, you know, a way to like, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are not happy right now. And has been in tougher times. And I wanted to care about all these people currently right now. Um, and I hope that this new year, everybody in this new year, I hope you have a fantastic new year. 
and I hope 2024 would be a great year for you all. And I, I just want to say that because, you know, I love you guys. I love you guys so much for, you know, doing everything, you know, on from my YouTube channel. And you guys are always the ones that support me the most. Along with people in my life. And that's what I truly care about. Is people. Not money. Not like. I know money is important. But you know. Not like money. Like money isn't important. But like. You know. If you're using money for it as an adult. Um, but. Anyways. Um, enough of me talking. I mean. This year. This year alone. Was. You know. It was okay. But you guys were there for me. You guys were always there. Even if you. Even if you aren't checking out my YouTube channel. Even if you aren't commenting. You mean. You still are there. You guys are commenting. But I'm just saying. You know. Man. It was a great. It was. You know. I'm glad I. You know. Have you guys here with me. And that's what matters. And. Without further ado, let's go through the highlights of 2023 on my channel. Hope you enjoy it. OLG Phone. With the help of the boy genius, no, not that one, but the kid named Wayne, which was also in the show. To have experience open on June of 2012. Wow, over months. To complete. Pretty crazy if you ask me. I mean, this wasn't the only first ever the first ever one to ever do this accomplishment. Card captors, a mystic adventure. Card captors, a quest for all time. Each card possesses a power all its own. We got to find them to bring the power home. In your imagination, find an invitation under the umbrella tree. Hey, Paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! We're with the Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. If your sick is in trouble, you can call us on the double. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. Uh. My melody and TikTok. Wait, are they referring to the social media platform TikTok? Nah, I'm just kidding. But it is kind of hilarious though because it, of course, it used the name TikTok in the name. Ugh. One of those shows they made was this. Thank you, Michelangelo, man. Hey, dude, chill out. I'm totally cool. No need to be bugging. That is, unless, of course, you're hungry. Ow! Oh, come oh, on. Put man. a shell on it, man. Yeah, come on. Cut the talk. Let's rock, huh? Yeah. Now, you all know the story on how we got to be who we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They've already oh, seen oh, it all. That's affirmative. Wait, where is I? Oh, yeah. Sandria Pure Land. The reservation system, which was a, which was apparently used to enter the park, was difficult for guests to navigate throughout the park. God, I thought Disney Genie Plus was bad. <laughs> they also have the Pizza Time Theater Chuck E. Cheese walk around mascot suit. Around the time. What the hell? Oh my god, no way. Stuff that I mentioned in the West Colonial Orlando location and International Drive location. 
so I'm not going to explain any details here. I know, I know, but hear me out. I just repeated it many times in this part of this video, so I just don't feel like wanting to repeat myself of the changes.